Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. As well as my faithful patrons, double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the five best credit cards to shop on Amazon if you have bad credit. And the reason that these here credit cards probably will give you leverage is because, again, you don't have to put it, if you have bad credit, you don't have to put down a secured security deposit on them okay they don't charge any annual fees so they don't charge you all these extra fees in order to be approved okay so that being said let's talk about some of these cards the first card is the amazon store credit card and i know a lot of you guys are familiar with this card but some of the things about the amazon uh credit card is that it's through Sacroni bank and many of you all may not know that Sacroni Bank usually pulls from FICO 9. Now, further in the video, I'm going to tell you the difference between FICO 8 and FICO 9 and how you can actually leverage FICO 9 so that you can get the most impact uh, for us getting access to more capital leveraging your FICO 9 credit score. So that's what most of these cards are about using your FICO 9. Now, unfortunately, it is a hard pull on your credit file. But some of the things about the Amazon store credit card that I like is if you approve, say that you get approved for $150. You don't have to pay any interest on that $150 if you pay it off within six months. If you use 600, if you get approved for a $600 card, uh, no interest for 12 months. And then if you, you get approved for $800 or more, then no interest for 24 months. So this here card may be one of the best cards if you just directly shopping on Amazon. However, if you want to use uh, different types of actual credit cards. So you have the Avant credit card, right? And so in terms of the Avant credit card, you have no deposit required. It reports to all the credit bureaus, uh, no penalty on uh, APR, no hidden fees. Um, they also review your credit account like every six months, three to six months to give you a credit line increase. OK, and because it does uh, doesn't do a, a hard pull, it's a soft pull. I think that really gives you some leverage in terms of trying to get approved for this here product. And also it's through Web Bank. So that's also a bigger benefit. Now, the upgrade uh, card. The upgrade visa, we talked about that extensively in another video, but here's some of the things that you should know. Like with the upgrade visa, they work with a 580 credit score. Also, it's a soft pull. Now, here's the thing about it. Like with their pre-approval process, whatever you're pre-approved for, they actually show it to you. And the only card that actually does that as of now is the Apple card. So if you approve for a $5,000 credit card, then that's what it's going to show you that you approve for, you know, so you're not guessing at how much am I approved for. It actually shows you how much you approve for. Now, the cool thing about this here card that I like is that say they give you that $5,000. And say that you make a $1,500 purchase. Now, that purchase, instead of it being purchased like you use the credit card, it actually will turn into a loan. So you have lower interest, okay? And another thing about these here credit cards, again, there's no fees. There's no annual fees, no activation fees, no maintenance fee. And they give you a virtual card regarding that. Uh, so when you get approved for the upgrade uh, card, uh, one of the cool things about it is you actually um, you actually get um, get an instant get an instant access to the card, so you can start using it immediately. You don't have to worry about waiting in the waiting on the mail for the card to uh, get to you. Uh, to especially if you're trying to take advantage of what's going on this holiday season. You're trying to get uh buy stuff like on Amazon and stuff like that. Now, 
Here's something I wanted to talk to you about, the difference between the FICO 8 and the FICO 9, okay? And because there's some confusion out there, most of your financial institutions, uh, like with your major banks, they're still using FICO 8, okay? And like, well, what, F Wells Fargo, they're using FICO 9 now. Now, here's some of the things that you have to understand between the difference with the FICO 8 uh, bank card, so you're opening up a new credit card, so that's the reason, like with Bank of America, uh, Chase, Citibank and stuff, they're still pulling on your FICO 8, uh, for the new credit cards and stuff like that. Now, with the FICO 8, uh, the credit utilization is more sensitive than it is on the FICO 9, um, on the FICO 8, one of the things about it, like if you have one late payment, then you know, it doesn't ding you as much as you had many uh, late payments or whatever. So if it's just a 30 day late payment and I told you like a 30 day late payment that can hit you uh, just between 40 to 80 points, uh, 60 days. Now you're hitting about 100, almost 100 points on on the late payment. But 30 days, you definitely can make it up. So some people that have 30 day lates that they made back in 2020 or whatever, if it's been past nine months, that's not affecting you. All right. Now, here's another controversial thing about this is that with the FICO 8, it was not uh, recognizing authorized users, okay? And so that being said, a lot of people uh, was thinking or saying that authorized users don't work, and that was not the case. It's just depending on who, which financial institution you're working with and what FICO score they're actually using, okay? And then another thing that changed, if you have a collection balance under $100, they're no longer uh, included in the FICO 8. Now with the FICO 9, you have uh, medical election bills that are no longer uh, counted in, all right? Uh, also, uh, collection accounts that have a zero balance, those are not uh, affecting your credit as well with the FICO 9. Uh, also, the cool thing about the FICO 9, you can also add in your rental history. And I'll talk to you more about how you can leverage that to boost your credit score up another 25 to almost 100 points. All right. So stick to the end of the video to check that out. Now, the authorized users on the FICO 9, they do count. They actually do count. Now, understanding in terms of which authorized users because one authorized user they may only just give you the history from the time you actually was added on to the authorized user however some of the uh credit card lenders they would actually give you the the history from the original date that the card was actually open also you can add utility bills and again i'll tell you more about that in a minute now here's another card um, it's called the Jasper Master Credit Card. And again, we're focusing on credit cards that aren't charging you an annual fee. These credit cards, you don't have to put any money up front and they're working with people with limited or bad credit. All right. So there's no annual fee. Uh, they report to the three major credit bureaus. Uh, their card actually offers some rewards. Uh, it's Web Bank, Experian, FICO 9, and they don't charge any foreign transaction fees, right? Now, here's a strategy for these cards. Say that you got, say that you just even got approved for a thousand dollars. Here's a strategy that I would do. All right. So that I can make sure that I'm going to be making my payments. If I'm shopping on Amazon, I probably would try to see if I can grab me a Amazon mystery box. OK, and that's basically a whole lot of items that had been returned and where you can go like on Amazon and other platforms and stuff and buy like a mystery box. And then those items you can resell back on Amazon, eBay, uh, offer up, uh, five miles, some of those other platforms that you can actually resell those 
those items. That way you are making enough money to pay back the credit card. And I always tell you guys, if you're using a credit card, make sure you're making weekly payments because of the credit bureaus. All of them don't report at the same time. Now, again, in terms of not only that, being able to just not only buy products and sell, but actually turn it into a, a extra stream of income. So if you want to understand how to actually set your business up, uh, you can check out three-way funding, schedule a consultation, or you can visit HoustonMcMiller.net. Now, here's another card. It's called the Deserve Master uh, MasterCard credit card. Now again, FICO 9, there's no annual fee. You can qualify with limited bad credit reports to all three credit bureaus, no foreign transactions. This, this one also gives you Amazon Prime uh, for a year for students. So that's really cool. So if you spend $500 in the first three billing cycles, uh, you can get the Amazon Prime student for um for free so that's that's something that's really good especially if we're talking about amazon and shopping on amazon okay uh one of the things about it uh once you approve you can start using the card automatically and start earning cash back uh if you have a cell phone it actually uh will give you up to 600 dollars cell phone protection again there's no deposit required, no annual fee. Um, for those of you that are foreign uh, students or whatever, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to have a social security number in order to qualify for this card. Now, here's uh, two cards that I really like. It's the Patel One and the Patel Two. Now, again, they don't. They do a soft pull, so you're not. Uh, worried about but doing a hard pull on your credit, but the Patel one uh, again, both cards and no annual fee. The Patel one is three hundred to five thousand dollar credit limit. The Patel two is three hundred to ten thousand dollars. Okay, and every six months they look at your how you managing your credit and how you managing the account to uh, see if you qualify for a credit line increase. Okay. And if you don't have a credit score, no problem because they're looking at the financial finances, how you manage your finances basically. Okay. So they use a cash score instead. All right. So that's something that's very important. So for some of you that don't have no credit history or just starting out and stuff like that, but you have a job, you have a bank account and stuff like that, they actually look at that instead of focusing on your credit score, okay? And the good thing about it, like I said, there's no deposit you have to put down and they're reporting to all three credit bureaus. Now here's another one. It's the Tomo Master credit card. Now, a lot of people have received this credit card. Some people like it. Some people don't. It is a charge card. I think that's one of the things that most people don't like because you can't carry a balance on it. However, if you're trying to build up your credit and stuff like that, being able to get these here unsecured credit cards and you have challenging credit, these are the best type of credit cards you want to get. All right. And so there's no annual fee of 1% cash back. Again, you can have a new credit score, limited credit uh, to get qualified. OK, it's a MasterCard and it's through Community Federal Savings Bank. And again, you looking at uh, which uh, FICO score that they're going to be pulling from. And they're looking at the financial history of your bank. So they're not focused on your credit score. They're mainly focused on on your banking information. How, how much income do you have? How much income are you bringing in? That's helped them be determine actually how much of a credit limit they're real, willing to give you. Now, their, uh, a, their limits go from $100 up to $10,000, okay? And so that's the reason it says you can get the uh, card with no credit history, no security deposit, um, you have to uh, connect your bank account to Plaid, okay? 
And so when they look at your financial history with your uh, bank and stuff like that, that's what helps them to determine uh, the amount of money that you actually are getting approved for. OK. Now, here's a couple ways that you can boost your credit score from 25 to 100 points. Again, we talked about with your FICO 9, really boosting your FICO 9 score and you're paying your rental history. You can sign up companies like Boom Pay or Rental Karma. Uh, then they have the extra debit card, credit card app. You download the app, you connect it to your bank account and all your debit card transactions. They report that to the credit bureaus. Also, you can add an authorized user, which is very important. Adding an authorized user is very important, guys. So I would definitely tell you, I would definitely tell you, uh, if you can, to leverage authorized users. We do offer authorized users, but you have to have a consultation first so we can see what's going on with the credit file. And you can uh, do that at uh, HoustonMcMiller.net or Three Way Funding. Um, Experian Boost. Most a lot of people say they don't like Experian Boost because it don't give you enough points. Hey, it gives you between some people said between 13 to 20 points. I'll take that 20 points. You know, then you also have grow credit. So if you're paying your utility bills and you have subscriptions and stuff like that, like Netflix, Hulu, um, Spotify and stuff like that, you can actually use that to help boost up your credit score. All right. So this is Houston with Three Way Funding. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, please comment, like, and share, and please subscribe. And for those of you that's always following me and supporting me, salute.